Alaska was the start of a big trip we are planning to do in the future, to climb all along the Panamericana Highway. We flew into Revelations. Wow, within one hour we were there. Then it started snowing. So after a whole week of really unsettled weather, it was clear the weather window is arriving. We started climbing and we noticed we were way too slow with the circumstances. Not today. Bye. And then all of a sudden it's clear that you cannot do anything. We decided to save ourselves because we, we knew we have so much time. Alaska was supposed to be our honeymoon. <laughs> yeah, the whole idea was kind of go with a different approach as, as usual. We wanted to be open-minded for whatever Alaska would allow us. So after we came out, we were kind of totally relaxing for two days. We spent some days on the ocean. Went bouldering with local people, tried to get some powder snow but we failed again. <laughs> Alles für den geilen powder, powder da oben, oder? And then we noticed that a really huge high pressure system is moving through Alaska. So this time we decided to fly into the Nali range. And there it was a total contrast to what we experienced in Revelations. It was like yeah, having the perfect cards. When we flew in, we got quite a good idea about the face, about the conditions, and Carlton Leach was just the line, you know. Mount Huntington, west face. Yeah. Wo wir vielleicht hochkommen, ha? Huh? <lacht> es schaut, die Linie, dass wir klettern wollen, schaut super aus. Eigentlich schaut nicht sehr schwer aus, aber irgendwie sind wir auch froh. Vor jetzt und sonst. Sonst stink ich heute, hast du gesagt. <lacht> We both were like, okay, we don't want to risk another attempt where you can't get up to the top. So we were like, okay, what we need right now is a climb. We can move fast, we can get up to the top. And that, that seemed quite the right choice. Gehst du weiter? Okay. It's a 1,200 meter route, quite sustained. The route starts with an amazing uh, ice stripe. Nothing difficult for today's standard, but really sustained and long. Pumped a bit in the Waden, because it's the whole time. So good as it is, when you can even screw and so, it's just too tired. Behind us, Denali. 
Du hast mich. Ich hab dich. Ich kann mir fast sagen, das war schon bald die erste Hälfte, oder? At the top you just do easy snow ramps and um, it's just a little bit of an, a leg work at the end. It was a really proper Alaskan experience to, to climb this route. Today is 24th of April. Yesterday we climbed Colton Leach on the west face of Huntington. And today we have rest day. Eating, drinking. Eating, drinking. When we repelled another line to the right of Carlton Leach, Luca, he was repelling and he had a bit of time to look at the face. And at the end of the day, he asked me, did you see this line up there? It looked almost like it would be a rock climb at certain part. So we actually brought rock shoes with us and we started really late in the day. We started climbing midday. It's west facing uh, wall and it gets sun in the afternoon. So, easy snow. Super snow for now. And then a steep wall above us. Very curious to see how the cracks look like. Ja. ja, wenn wir mal wissen, konnten wir morgens anfangen. Ja. Aber. Actually, we found in every single crack just enough ice to make it higher and higher, step by step, pitch by pitch. Oh, da warst du auch froh, bis hier warst, hm? Mhm. Ja, zum Glück ohne Rucksack. The route just delivered pitch after pitch, really sustained, steep mixed climbing. It wasn't easy. Some cruxes where we had to really like pull hard and be careful. I ripped the cam once because a rock came off. I barely fell, but I didn't. We knew from our descent from Colton Leach that there was higher up, quite close to the summit actually, a spot we could lay down and, and rest a bit. And it was three or four in the morning that we reached that place. Sorry, I'm full. You can see how much it is. I was a little bit panicked because there was no überhaupt stand here. Luca has this nose of where to go, this feeling, this 
alpine experience skills I haven't seen at any other person. It was full moon that night, so even though we arrived really tired at our BV spot, we kind of couldn't go to sleep. Du bist überhaupt der Schneewühl-Weltmeister, weil das war eigentlich die Schlüsselstelle, ha? die letzten fünf Meter auf die, mhm. auf die Westseite, auf die Südseite. Wie hat dir die Länge getaugt? Nicht. <lacht> Nicht? <lacht> Scheißlänge. We spend uh, two hours just looking around full moon above Mount Hunter. Yeah, it was really amazing night. there on we knew the route those routes they join at some point it was just a matter of okay now we keep going but this is in our pocket it is always a special moment it was a really really intense moment up there Heart of Stone, oder?